Once again, a shout out to Maprinet aka Matt for his reviews on Buzz Lightyear of Star Command The Adventure Begins and his review on Minions because for this I'll be reviewing two movies as a double bill. There are some strong similarities about this. One is that both of their respective companies delayed their films for over two years in terms of theatrical releases until the pandemic cooled down a bit and they're both spin-offs of side characters and the only difference is that one's from Pixar and one's from Illumination and I'm talking about of course Pixar's Lightyear and Illumination's Minions The Rise of Gru so first off on Lightyear as it has been over two years since I've watched a theatrically released Pixar film since Onward while three of their originally planned release films got delayed and had to be streamed on Disney Plus I can honestly say that Lightyear seems like a promising return to the big screen after two years compared to his role in the quadrilogy Toy Story films. I could say that while it might not capture like the whimsy and heart of those films, Lightyear as a standalone spin-off is pretty good on its own like like how the character of Lightyear played by Chris Evans and Tom Allen Tim Allen's he did a decent job voicing Lightyear as his own character who also had an emotional side while also reading off his lines like you know Buzz Lightyear, Stalker Man, Kimmy Stalker Man, and, you know, to infinity and beyond. And, well, it was good to see Pixar back in theaters again. The film on its own, it didn't hook me up a bit as the other Pixar films, but I say the company is always doing its best to try to surprise us. On to Illumination's Minions. It's been quite some time since I've seen the Minions in theaters lately. In fact, one of my most favorite memory is how I got the Peanuts movie poster. My mother bought me this on opening night and I can honestly say that it's one of my treasures I ever got out of a Cinemark theater. And while I think back in 2015, this, that film was a fun and quotable film, despite its dislikers of those little Twinkies, if you like Muslim call it, in the sequel, seems like they've been taking Kevin Baum's story to whole new levels like to save their mini boss Gru in their continuing origin story in order to help them defeat those retro villains in the 1970s I could say that it is slightly fun on his own as well, though not as quotable as I mentioned. The story has more action sequences like karate and an interesting climax like that's such unlike the pre predecessor which feels a bit anticlimactic. This film is really trying to up its game I say it did a decent job. 
As for the animation, well, I, well, it's nothing like really special in terms of designs and the reused character designs. Like the kids, for example, are like reused models in the Secret Life of Pets 2, another Illumination film. In fact, I'd say it's fine on its own as like. How the Minions moved from London to San Francisco to Chinatown. It was an interesting take, take, interesting place to take these characters as such. And though those may seem a bit rushed at times, it's still good on its own and has a fine intentions at going through. All no minions continuing to spin off I hope it I would place this in the middle of Illumination's non despicable me follow ups like between the Secret Life of Pets two and Sing two, I put it in the middle between those two as my Second favorite follow up to that. So, both spin offs, while different in tone and animation, say both of them are good on its own, but I take Minions 2 on the other hand for like how it's more energetic and as such. But to give it my rating, I'll give Lightyear a 7 out of 10 as a good film and Minions 2. A 7.5 out of 10 for being an enjoyable film since I enjoy a more fun loving movie than a totally serious one that seems a bit too serious at times. That's all I got right now. Sorry this review is so short, but for my next movie review, it'll be full fledged, full fledged with Pause of Fury The Legends of Hank. So, stay